Hey there, it's Jonathan Schlow with CarGenerator.com and I've, I'm sitting today in an Airstream base camp. It's a super cool new super light trailer from Airstream. It's really nice. You can go pretty much anywhere with this and it's comfortable and stylish and really fun. So anyways, today I'm going to show you how you can live off-grid with this. So I helped at the RV, the Toronto RV show uh, in the Airstream booth and I got one of these units to take with me for a couple days um, after the show which was really nice. So I, it's been quite cold at night. I've run, uh, the outside temperature was around zero degrees, maybe 32, 33 Fahrenheit. So the heat has been working pretty hard and that's great. It's nice and toasty inside but the downside is that the power has gone really low. So, um, by the way, check out this super cool trailer here. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to flip the camera. And we're going to have a look at the power. So let's have a look down here at this power. Uh, battery voltage is 11.8. And let's just check this voltage. Again, 11.8. So that's getting pretty low. So... Um, I'm going to show you something super cool. So look under this seat in the Airstream. There is a super cool new device. Right that, right there. That is a car generator. And that will give you a thousand watts, up to a thousand watts from your vehicle. You can use to run and power your Airstream base camp. Or your other Airstream or travel trailer. And it can also be used to power your home furnace in the winter too. So that little guy is 16 pounds, super ultra light. And I'm gonna take you outside to have a look at how we've hooked it up. So let's go outside. And there it is. It's now hooked up to the trailer. And let's go up to the front of the car and have a look. This here is a car generator. That's exactly how it looks. It's uh, 16 pounds, ultra light, uh, weatherproof, so it can rain on it and snow and ice, and it will work. It'll just produce up to a thousand watts of power you can use. So let's have a look in underneath the hood. There we go. So we're hooked up to the battery boost jump start points. Fairly simple. And as you can see, we just hook the uh, the strap of the car generator on there to make it wherever it can fit well. So let's go ahead and look at this here, which is a power meter. This power meter comes included with the car generator, and it shows you how many watts are being used or consumed. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Sorry for the bad video. And there we go. We are producing power, 600, 575, 540. So we are now supplying 540 watts to power up the Airstream base camp. And that is most likely, most of it is running the, uh, the charger that is now charging the batteries at full speed, just as if we were plugged into grid power. So let's go ahead and walk back into the trailer. It really is a beautiful unit. Let's just have a look here. Let me go back inside the trailer. And you can hear the power converter running. Let's have a look and see what our batteries are looking like. That is a beautiful thing. 13.5, so it's not, it hasn't filled up the batteries, but it's charging at full speed just like your on-grid power, which is an amazing thing when you need power and you've been boondocking for a couple of days and you wish that you could just continue on. So, a couple more things to know about this. The same unit you can use. Uh, it's 16 pounds. It folds up and goes away. Super nice and small, as you saw, under the base camp um, dinette seat. In the winter, you can use it to power your furnace and your fridges in the summer out of your house. So if the power goes out at your house, you just simply pull this guy out, hook it up in two minutes, as you can see, and then you run an extension cord in to your um, furnace. We provide a furnace connection kit along with 
this unit from cargenerator.com and that's about all I need to say about it. One other thing in terms of gas usage, some people have asked how long can I really run this thing? So um, uh, just for an example from the published specs, government specs, a Honda we'll say a Honda Civic, a 2010 Honda Civic uses about 0.19 gallons per hour to run. Um, sorry, 0.16 gallons per hour to run. A Honda generator, a 2000 watt generator, uses around 0.19. So add a bit of load um, and they're basically on par. So when you're running the car generator, you're running at about the same rate of gas consumption as it is for a generator. Um, with a bigger vehicle like a Ford F-150, um, it's about double that, so it's more. Now, uh, based on calculations, the Honda Civic, the 2010 Honda Civic, you can run, based on a 13-gallon tank, you could run approximately 88 hours with no load. These are from published government specs that you can look at on our website. And a Ford F-150, um, based on the 36-gallon tank, you could idle for about 92 hours with a 36-gallon tank. So just to give you a rough idea, some people think, you know, an hour or two of uh, idling and you're going to run out of fuel, and it's really not true. Um, so you can, your car can idle, and there's more details about idling kind of questions um, on our website. So check it out. Uh, yeah, actually... Yeah, happy about the Ford F-150 right there, 92, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I think that's most of what I need to say, and I'm in this super cool Airstream trailers, and uh, this thing is powering up. Let's check it out again just to see how's our battery. Look at that, 13, oops, hang on, i got to flip it around. 13.4 <laughs> is uh, what we're charging at. So there we go. We're going to go outside and... Have one last shot at the car generator. 92 is the number of hours calculated based on a 36 gallon tank that you can idle your car for to produce power with a car generator. So you can move that up or down a little bit, but approximately a Honda Civic, a 2010 Honda Civic, will run about 88 hours uh, on idle. Um, a little bit less than that with a load, and a, a Ford F-150 uh, will run about 92 hours based on calculations. Um, so that gives you a rough idea of how much power and how long you can run, and that uh, it's a whole lot easier than going out and getting a whole bunch of gas cans and filling them up and um, keeping them filled every three, four hours. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a super fabulous day, and... Um, there you go, cargenerator.com.